How Bail Bonds Work when a person gets arrested and booked for an alleged crime, they must wait in jail until a bail hearing. They could also be issued citations and be made to post the bail bond amount on those citations. At the bail hearing, the judge will set the bail amount. Posting a bail bond is simple and will have the defendant out of jail to begin working on their case. But if the person cannot afford bail, they must wait in jail until their next court date. There is a better option. Hire a bail bond agent. When contacting a bail bondsman, you need to have as much information as possible, including the following. Full name of person needing bail, booking number, jail location, the crimes they were charged with, and the bond amount. Most bail bondsmen are on our call 24 hours, 7 days a week, and will usually always answer the phone regardless of the time of day, weather, or sometimes if they're even on vacation. If you are near the jail, the bail bond agent will usually meet you there to post the bond, but in some cases, they may be willing to meet you at your home or even a restaurant to finalize paperwork and issue the bond. If you're not in the same city as the defendant, mostly all payments and paperwork can be handled electronically or over the phone. A bail agent will charge a 10% fee regardless if the charges are misdemeanor or felony. For example, if your bond amount is $10,000, you will need to pay the bail bondsman $1,000. This fee is also non-refundable. Now, co-signing a bond. A bail bondsman may also ask you to sign over collateral you may own. Collateral is property you own, such as your house, jewelry, vehicles, or other items that meet the worth of the full bail bond. This more than guarantees the defendant will show up to all of their court hearings. The bail agent will post the bond once the bond premium has been paid and any collateral has been signed over. Once all of the payments and paperwork have been completed, then the defendant will be released from jail. Now, how soon will the person be released from jail? Well, the process of bailing someone out of county jail can be a short time or may take a few hours depending on the city you are in and how crowded that jail may be. After the defendant has been released, they must show up for any and all court hearings and meet any conditions set by the court, electronic monitoring, curfew. If the defendant fails to appear in court for any reason other than being incarcerated, the bail bond company will be required to pay the full bail amount set by the court. If the defendant violates the bail bond conditions, we will attempt to locate the defendant and bring them directly to jail. If the defendant does not make their court date and the bail company has to send out bail enforcement agents, the cosigner may incur an additional fee on top of the original bond amount. This means that as the cosigner, you may lose any collateral that was signed over with the bond. As long as the defendant complies with the terms set by the court and the bail agent and shows up for all court dates, there should be no problems at all. Whether the defendant is found guilty or innocent at the conclusion of the trial, the bond will then be removed and the cosigner will no longer be responsible for the amount. Now then, the convicted person may be eligible for a new bail bond if they are allowed by the courts to get their affairs in order. You can then post a new bond for them, but the same conditions will apply where they will need to follow the orders of the court and the bail bonds. Contact Bail Bondsman today.